call the member for Bendigo. Thank you, Deputy yeah. Speaker. Neither of the previous government speakers have actually stood here and apologised and recognised that it was the former Ag Minister, the member for New England, who, who has helped create this crisis. Yeah, it was the member for New England who abolished Labor's independent Inspector General of Animal Welfare. It was the member for New England, when he was the Ag Minister, that abolished the Animal Welfare Committee and created the culture within the department of don't rock the boat. There's been no acknowledgement about what their side of politics have done to create the situation which is allowing rogue operators to export sheep, live, live sheep in a very unsafe way. Everyone's saying, oh, the footage is terrible, 60,000 sheep crammed on. It wouldn't have happened if the minister, the previous minister, had not abolished the committee and had not abolished the Inspector General of Animal Welfare. Where is this side taking responsibility for their actions of placing their own constituents in this situation that they're in? Labor has called for a work with industry to phase out live sheep exports. It's to work with industry. It's to work in partnership. It's to talk about a transition to. And we acknowledge on this side that means developing markets. I have a, an abattoir in my electorate that's a tier one abattoir. They say that the cost barriers, that the, that the extra compliance required um, to increase their exports, particularly to the Middle East, is something financially that they can't do. They are interested. There is an opportunity for a government to work with the industry to help our tier one abattoirs step up to that tier two stage. We've also talked about the importance of jobs. And the jobs issue cannot be underestimated. There is work we need to do in the meat processing industry to ensure that Australians are given first opportunity to work in the meat processing industry. We do have a problem currently in the meat processing industry where they are staffed um, predominantly by backpackers. There's an opportunity there to create good, secure Australian jobs for permanent residents, for people who are living in areas, regional areas. So there's, that's another part of this plan. If we want to phase out live export, we can work towards creating good, secure jobs in the region, developing the trade, as I've said, working to remove those non-trade and those tariff barriers that exist. These are issues that we need to address. We need to look at domestic transportation. You know, because Labor started to talk about this and create the Office of Animal Welfare, we started to get the data in about what's been happening in live animal export. But what we don't have good data on is what is actually happening in our domestic transportation. Just outside of Ballarat, there was a, a, a crash not that long ago where hundreds of sheep were killed. In my own electorate of Bendigo, when two trucks collided, 800 sheep were killed. And then at the Bendigo stockyards, um, on a very hot day, 20 sheep were just dumped. Just dumped. They died of heat exhaustion. We've also got to look at how we transport sheep in our country. We talk about chickens. That's another area where we've got a, a challenge. Dead on arrival. There are more chickens. There are stacks and stacks and stacks of issues that we have with our own domestic transport. Again, issues, issues that we need to address in a constructive way to work with industry to ensure that we are meeting not just animal welfare standards, but also meeting the expectations. The, um, the standards that our consumers expect. Australians are horrified not just by this footage that they're seeing in the media, but also to the stories that they are learning about. This continues to happen. This is why we need to work with industry to phase out live sheep exports. And I just want to pick up on another point the minister made. Labor is not talking about the beef trade. We are not talking about live exports of cattle because the markets are different. The markets are fundamentally different, and this is the point the government is missing. The distances are shorter. The reforms that Labor brought in in relation to the live cattle trade are working. This is Labor saying that we need to work with industry to phase out live sheep exports, just like they've done in New Zealand, and the world hasn't collapsed. Farmers haven't gone broke in New Zealand, where they've phased it out. We need to work with industry to develop markets. We need to work um, 
with abattoirs to ensure that they're employing locals and that they're able to export. This can be done, and it can start now. I think the 